10-year-old Jess Ahrens has a new neighbor. Her name is Leslie Burke, and she's just moved into their rural Virginia town from Arlington. She's imaginative, bullied for being shy, and the only person who can beat Jess in a race. Jess is able to confide in Leslie. He tells her about his dream to become an artist, despite his father's disapproval, the severe financial challenges his family faces, and his own insecurities. They become best friends. They build a magical imaginary world in the woods behind their homes that only they know about. They call it Terabithia. One day, Jess is invited to go to an art museum with his favorite teacher and can't play with Leslie after school. While he's gone, Leslie goes to Terabithia alone and tragically drowns in the creek. Quote, cremated. Something clicked inside Jess's head. That meant Leslie was gone, turned to ashes. He would never see her again, not even dead, never. How could they dare? Leslie belonged to him, more to him than anyone in the world, end quote. Jess is left to confront this life-altering tragedy and find the strength to carry on without his best friend. Newbery Award-winning Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson is today's Velshi Van Book Club feature. Heralded as one of the most enduring and poignant children's books of the 20th century, Bridge to Terabithia demands its readers confront the reality of childhood, including family dynamics, class, division, friendship, identity, and of course, death. Without reading Bridge to Terabithia, you might wrongfully assume that these topics are too serious and too heavy for a children's book. The tragedies, the joys, the challenges, and the imagination found in the pages of this book are just the reality. To think otherwise is to do a disservice to children. In fact, Bridge to Terabithia was written in reaction to the senseless death of Patterson's own son's best friend. The dedication reads, quote, I wrote this book for my son, David Lord Patterson, but after he read it, he asked me to put Lisa's name on this page as well. And so I do for David Patterson and Lisa Hill, end quote. She ends the dedication with a traditional Japanese exclamation, banzai, meaning 10,000 years of long life. Patterson masterfully captures the voice of a child without being patronizing. This is best showcased in the way that Patterson's, uh, the protagonist, Jess, in the full spectrum of the grief after Leslie's death, from anger to guilt, and then eventually to acceptance. At its core, though, Bridge to Terabithia is the story of the power of friendship. Even after its end, Jess and Leslie's friendship both affirms and pro provides the space for both of them to grow. There's a nuanced understanding and safety that is masterfully captured within the description of this friendship. If you've been lucky enough to experience friendship like this, it reads as truthful and sacred. Quote, Leslie was more than his friend. She was his other, more exciting self, his way to Terabithia and all the worlds beyond, end quote. In the pages of Bridge to Terabithia, Patterson eloquently reminds us that those intense feelings of longing and belonging, of searching for a why that does not exist, of turning to your family for support, of life-affirming fr friendship, does not just begin in adulthood. Rather, these are universal, unavoidable, and always there. If you're among the school board members, the organized parents, or the far-right groups that have banned and challenged Bridge to Terabithia for foul language and for promoting so-called witchcraft, then you have missed the point of this book. If you're among the masses who have targeted Bridge to Terabithia for its frank portrayal of death, then you have missed the point. Bridge to Terabithia is equally as powerful for adult readers as it is for young readers. The book reminds us that the emotional imprint left after true friendship and after the first loss never truly fades away. Today, decades after the book's initial publication and decades after I opened it for the first time, Bridge to Terabithia still has the power to make me cry. And that emotional resonance is the point. Exactly the point. Right after the break, I'll be joined by the legendary Katherine Patterson. She's the author of numerous award-winning books for children and young adults, including today's Velshi Band book feature, Bridge to Terabithia. Today's meeting of the Velshi Band Book Club is officially underway. I'm joined now by Katherine Patterson, a legend in literary circles, the author of some 16 young adult books and the winner of numerous awards, including two prestigious National Book Awards and two Newbery Medals, including one for today's Velshi Band Book Club feature, Bridge to Terabithia. Catherine, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me. It's 
a real pleasure and honor. Let's talk about this. Bridge to Terabithia is literally the first time many young readers are ever confronted with the idea of death. Talk to me about why you thought it important to broach that topic through literature before many of these people will ever experience it in life. Well, um, I didn't uh, start the book that way, but I've, I've always felt that books are a wonderful rehearsal for what you're going to have to meet in life. Um, and we're all going to have to meet death. Uh, so um, I, I, I just, can I tell you a story? Yes. Uh, a young man wrote to me and he said that he had a best friend growing up and they were always together until they went to separate colleges. And he couldn't wait till Thanksgiving when they could get together again and talk about their experiences when they were apart. And he got home first. And then he got the word that his son, his best friend had been killed in an automobile accident on the way back home. And so he wrote to me and he said, I went to my shelf in my bedroom and took out my copy of Bridge to Terabithia, which I had owned since I was 10. And I read it through, and I can't tell you how comfort, what a comfort it was to me. And I thought, you know, if somebody hadn't given it to him when he was 10, then it wouldn't have been there when he was 18 and needed it. Um, oh, what a way to think about it, um, a, a, a rehearsal for what you might meet in life. Uh, one of the reasons that this book has been challenged or, or banned is because it's apparently anti-Christianity. In Chapter 8, Leslie joins Jess's family at Easter Mass. She's never been to church before and is interested, although she disagrees with the idea that God would send anyone to hell. You were raised by Presbyterian ministers and married to one. Is there, what, what, do, you, what do you say to people who say that your book is anti-Christianity? Well, it's so sad because it's only my Christian brothers and sisters who ban me, I think. Um, and um, I don't find the book anti-Christian at all. Um, I think if we're honest, we're always struggling with our faith. And I, I heard Ellie Wiesel talk once and he said, my God lets me argue with him. What mm. does your God do? And I thought, you know, if you have real faith, then you can argue with God. And certainly Bridge to Arbithia was one of my arguments with God. Why should this wonderful child be struck and killed by lightning? It just did not make any sense. Uh, I touched on this in the introduction, but Bridge to Terabithia is really actually as much about friendship and the power of friendship as it is about death. Let's talk about that, yes. the, 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 the actual friendship, irrespective of, of the tragedy. Well, I, when I set the first cry of pain to my wonderful editor, um, I, you know, I knew I'd made a mistake. I mean, no real writer would send a book as bad as <laughs> an editor. And she called me up and she said, is this a book about friendship or is it a book about death? And I had always thought it was a book about death. And she said, when she asked me that question, I said, no, it's a book about friendship. Mm -hmm. And she said, that's what I thought. You've got to go back and write it that way. And that was when the bully that I knew in the fourth grade at Calvin H. Wiley School came into the book. I couldn't name her Pansy, which was the bully's real name. I named her Janice Avery. And I said, Pansy, I'm going to get my revenge. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> of course, you know, before I finished, I kind of felt sorry for Janice Avery. And then I, I kind of liked her. So it ruined my revenge. But it, it did the job. It, it showed how Les, Leslie could grow because she knew Jess, because Jess helped her um, be kind to Janice Avery. 
I want to talk about the role of Miss Edmonds. She's described early in the book, quote, sounds like some kind of hippie, his mother had said when Branda, who had been in seventh grade last year, described Miss Edmonds to her. She probably was. Jess wouldn't argue that, but he saw her as a beautiful wild creature who had been caught for a moment in that dirty old cage of a schoolhouse, perhaps by mistake. But he hoped, he prayed she'd never get loose and fly away. He managed to endure the whole boring week of school for that one half hour on Friday afternoons <laughs> when they'd sit on the worn out rug on the floor of the teacher's room. There was no place else in the building for Miss Edmonds to spread out all her stuff and sing songs like My Beautiful Balloon. Now that took me back to my childhood. What's Miss what's <laughs> Edmonds' role in Jess's world? Ah, uh, what is Mrs. Edmonds? Well, of course, it is she who takes him to the art museum uh, uh, and uh, causes, not causes the tragedy, but the tragedy occurs when Jess has gone off and not invited a slave to go on the trip with them and it makes him feel guilty and responsible for her death. Um, so, um, <laughs> uh, she played that role, but also she played a real role in bringing Jess and Leslie together and making Jess feel that it was okay for him to have a girl for a friend. It's an amazing, amazing book. Um, thank you for all you've done and for all that you've written. Uh, Catherine Patterson is the award-winning author of numerous children and young adult books, including today's Velshi Band Book Club feature, Bridge to Terabithia. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone, you hit search on the bottom right corner, you type in MSNBC, you click on the MSNBC app, you click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.